What's up, everybody? Welcome to an episode of Extra Turns, and we got some very special guests in the house for this one. Yes, but before we get into it, we have to talk about our sponsors, ChannelFireball.com slash command. If you want to get your hands on any Streets of New Capenna cards, any singles, any sealed product, draft boosters, collector boosters, set boosters, anything at all, ChannelFireball.com slash command is the place to go. Their marketplace has the best prices. They have tons of licensed businesses vying for your business. Everybody on the marketplace on Channel Fireball is in LGS. You're dealing with professionals, so you're going to have a professional level of service. Yep. Cards are going to come in great condition. They're going to get to you super fast. All that. And of course, you can just type in the code command at checkout if you forget to use the <laughs> URL. Yeah. Perfect. And you know what? Streets of New Capenna, this is some of the best art I've seen in Magic in a long, long time. And if you want some of that art on your playmat, on your sleeves, on your deck box, then you're going to have to check out Ultra Pro. They're the other sponsor of the show. And in fact, Ultra Pro has recently started uh, direct-to-consumer sales sales on their website what? and we have a brand new affiliate link that you can use so if you go to shop.ultrapro.com slash command using that affiliate link you'll be supporting our content you'll be finding the ultra pro products that you want you know we hear from people all the time that yeah. we, they see a product on our show or we talk about it and they go to their lgs and they can't find it because it's sold out because ultra pro products tend to sell out yeah well shopping directly from them may be another way to find that that uh, product that you're looking for yeah and they have tons of products going way back as well and into other franchises they have deals around the holidays. So check it out. There's going to be something there for you. Shop.ultrapro.com slash command. And the final way to support all of our content is directly if you go to patreon.com slash command zone. Patrons get a whole bunch of perks like watching this episode, Extra Turns, or Game Nights always come out early for patrons. They get access to it before the general public. Yeah, patreon.com slash command zone. You can check out all of the new tiers. We've got tons of new content and things to offer you, our awesome patrons. Not to mention, at certain tiers, you get to play Josh and me on spell table there's a chance for you to do that so check out all the tiers patreon.com slash command zone there's tons of new stuff there we're really happy with the revamp yeah i'm really excited about the new patreon i'm really excited to interact with our patrons more and get yeah. to play games with them and stuff like that it's all about the community uh finally i, I just want to give one last shout out because command fests are coming back yeah and uh there's a bunch of them they've been announced by wizards jimmy and i are planning to be at the one in las vegas from june 10th through the 12th i believe yeah that, that weekend. weekend yeah we're gonna be there so that's another good way to get in games with us Live events are some of the best times I've ever had. Command fests are great fun. Just imagine getting together with thousands of other commander players. Yeah, it's a blast. If you can attend in Las Vegas, June 10th to 12th, well, maybe we'll see you there. Yeah. All right. Without further ado, we've got a pretty exciting game with some spicy decks. Let's get into it. What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Extra Turns. Today, I'm playing Arkellis Lagoon Mystic. This deck is all about tapping and untapping. So I've loaded it up with vehicles and other tricks to get my commander turned sideways on demand. That way, I have control over what enters tapped. Meanwhile, my cards get extra value when they untap, so I'll make sure it happens a lot. Hey everybody, what's up? My name's Arthur Meadowcroft. I'm an editor here at the Command Zone, and today I'm gonna be playing the Ur Dragon. This is a tribal deck, but not a dragon tribal deck. It's an everything tribal deck, full of changelings. So it's full of cards that care about everything from tree folk to pirates to spirits to ninjas. With the power of every creature type known to magic, my shapeshifter army will take whatever form it needs to seize victory. Hey, what's up? It's Manson, and today my deck is led by Silas and Rebecca. So this deck is all about playing impactful artifacts that Silas can get back and Rebecca can protect. But I want that protection for everything, so I've got ways to make all my permanents artifacts. Once everything has been made metal, I'll have an unstoppable force to send in and smash the competition. Hey everyone, it's Grav, and my commander today is going to be Galissa the Traitor. This is a deck I call Grav Gulati's Galissa Golgari Garbage. My plan is to play a ton of artifacts that give me value but also end up in the dumpster. Then I've got lots of ways to remove my opponent's creatures so I can root through the trash and get my favorite artifacts back. With my rubbish recursion online, I'll have everything I need to waste my opponents. All right, let's battle. She Rebecca, but she also protect. You're not turtly enough for the turtle club. This deck is hot garbage. <laughs> 
All right, is everybody ready? Yes, yes sir. let's do it. Yeehaw. Here we go. I'll draw and I'll play Cavern of Souls and I will name humans. Ooh. Okay. Human in a dragon deck. Interesting. Right. We'll pass to you, girl. Okay. I will draw for turn. Uh, I will start by playing a command tower. Oh. And then I will tap that command tower to play a mana vault. Oh. Okay. And then don't worry, it's not doing anything crazy. I'm gonna tap the mana vault for three colorless uh -huh. mana to play a Moriok replica. Ooh. And then I actually have one more play. I'm going to play a Mishra's bobble for free. Wow. Okay, girl. And then I'm actually gonna crack the Mishra's bobble now. Uh, I will sacrifice it to look at the top card of a player's library. I will choose Ashlyn. Okay. And that's my turn. Cool. All right. I will draw the card that Garav has seen. On your upkeep, Misha's Bobble will trigger and I will draw a card. Cool. And then I will play a Swamp and pass turn. Nice. I will draw. Play a Sunken Hollow Tapped and I'll pass the turn. All right. I'll go draw. I'm gonna play Tropical Island. So now I'm gonna tap Cavern of Souls, Tropical Island, and play Catilda, Dawnheart Prime. Huh. And you're probably wondering what a human is doing in my deck. It is strange. We'll have to find out. Interesting. And I'll pass to you, Groff. Okay. Untap. I will not untap Mana Vault, sadly. Hmm. Draw a card. I will take one damage because Mana Vault is tapped. I will play Verdant Catacombs as my land for a turn. Uh, I'm going to crack it immediately. Paying one life. Going to 38, I'm gonna search my library for a bayou and put it into play. Oh, I should probably attack, right? I got a 2-2 two, two on turn two. You don't have to, just saying. Yeah, I'm gonna attack Manson for two. <laughs> oh. He psyched me out. <laughs> All right, I'll take two. Going to 38. Uh, then I will pass my turn. All right, I will draw for turn. And then I too will play Command Tower and pass okay. the turn. I'm good. I will untap, draw my card for turn. Um, I'll play a Swamp for turn and then I will pass. Look at us playing wholesome magic. No, fair here. magic over here. Gonna untap. Go draw. Play an Ancient Tomb, since we're playing fair magic. Okay, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's not fair. <laughs> Says the guy with the mana vault. And then I'm going to cast Atla Palani, Nest Tender. Ooh. Hey and I tapped Ancient Tomb to do that, so I'll mm. lose two life from Ancient Tomb. I'll go to 38, and I will pass turn. Okay, on your end step, I'm actually going to tap two to sacrifice a Moriak Replica. Lose two life. Going to 36 and draw two cards. Okay, it's my turn. Untap, not that one. Draw, and I lose one life because of Mana Vault. Going to 35. I'm gonna play Urborg, Tomb of Yawgmoth. Urborg! Hey. And then I will tap three to cast my commander, Glissa the Traitor. Ooh. And then I will pass turn. All right, I will draw a card for turn. I will play a forest, and then I will cast Renegade Freighter. Sweet. Okay. Interesting. And that's my turn. Go ahead. All right, I'll untap. I'll draw for turn. Play a planes for turn. I will cast a trophy mage. Nice. So I'm going to search my library for an artifact with mana value of three. Neat. And I'm going to find Bran Forge. Interesting. And that'll be my turn. Here you go, Arthur. Okay. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. All right, I'm gonna cast Dragon Horde. Ooh. Okay, I've yeah, done the dragon theme. And I used Ancient Tomb to do that, so I'll take two. Going to 36. That's it for me, I'll pass turn to you, Grove. Okay, I will go untap and draw. And I will take one damage from Mana Vault. Going to 34. I'm gonna get all my colors and play Yavi Maya, Cradle of Growth. Whoa. So everyone has forests, everyone has swamps, you're welcome. Oh. You gifted us all bayous. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll pass the turn to you, Ashlyn. Okay, I will untap all my lands and then I'll go to draw for turn. I'll play an Arch of Arazka. Nice. I don't have 10 permanents yet, so I don't have the city's blessing. Mm. Okay, turtle's coming out. I will cast my commander, Arkelos Lagoon Mystic. Ooh, I like turtles. I will pass the turn for now. Hmm, okay. I'll untap, I'll draw for turn, play a Dark Steel Citadel. All right, well, I'm gonna go to combat. Ashlyn, two. Uh, totally not suspicious. I'm gonna crew my Renegade Freighter and then I'll block. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, you call my bluff here. <laughs> uh, yeah, damage happens. All right. Trophy Mage dies. Okay, I have a trigger on this. I'm gonna return Moriak Replica to my hand. Oh, I was really hoping you wouldn't block. Can't get past this turtle. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, in my second main, I'm gonna just cast my commander, Rebecca. Nice. Sweet. Because Arkelos is tapped, uh, everything enters tapped now because of Manson's choice. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> no, enter tapped. All right, well, that was my turn. I'll pass. Very predictably on your end step, I will pay two, and I will make an egg with Atla Palani. Didn't see that coming. It will enter tapped. <laughs> In response, I am going to cast Price of Fame on Atla Palani. Ooh, Ooh. That is a good price to pay. 
Um, because a creature died, this triggers Glissa, and I will return an artifact from my graveyard back to my hand. This time I will turn Mishra's Bobble. And I am left with a very sad tapped egg. <laughs> I will go to untap, and I will draw. I'll play Tundra. I was into play tap. Thanks, Ashlyn. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay five mana and I'll play Imposing Grandeur. Woo! Yeah, okay, that I makes sense. I have a nine mana value commander. Oh my gosh. Oh my, that's insane. I will take two from Tapping Ancient Tomb. Going for 34. Would anybody else like to go on this wheelie cool journey with me? <laughs> wheelie cool, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's tempting, but I'm good. Nope, I'm not. I'll pass. Okay, here we go. I will discard my hand and draw nine. Whoa. Whoa. That's bad. Yikes. Great. That's good. <laughs> I have one more play to make. I'm gonna play Skeletal Changeling for one mana because of the cost reduction from Ur Dragon's Eminence ability. Oof. And it enters tapped. That'll put a gold counter on Dragon's Horde because it's a dragon. <laughs> and a jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. That's it for me. I'll pass turn to you, Garof. And because I have eight cards in hand, I will discard Cloud Shredder Sliver. Strange combination of creatures over there. I will untap and draw, and then I will take one damage because of Mana Vault. Going to 33. I'll play an Undergrowth Stadium that comes in tap because of her turtle. Turtle. Um, I'm going to play Mishra's Bobble, which also comes in tap. Can't sack it because it comes in tap. Can't sack it. <laughs> I feel like that's fair. Okay, I'm going to go to combat, and then Ashlyn, I'm going to attack you with Glissa the Traitor for three damage. I have no blocks, so I'll take three. Going to 37. Uh, on my second main, I'm going to play Surprise Moriak Replica, which and... also comes in tapped. It's back. And that's my turn. All right. I will untap my lands, untap my commander, and now that he's untapped, everything enters untapped. Yeah. Excellent. And I will draw for turn. I will play Hissing Quagmire untapped because of my commander. Look at that tech. And then I'm going to play Trinket Mage. Ooh, okay. I'll look through my library and find something of mana value one, and I will find Amulet of Vigor. Okay. Nice. Uh, and then I will play Pains here. Nice, nice, Sweet. nice. That's awesome. I love the synergy in this deck. I will tap Pains here to crew Renegade Freighter, and then I will attack Garav with the Freighter, and it will get plus one, plus one, and trample until end of turn. I will take five damage. Going to 28. All right, that's my turn. Go ahead, Manson. Nice. I will untap. Draw my card for turn. I'll play a buried ruin. All right, I'll go to combat. Grov, swing at you with Rebecca. <laughs> wow! Grov. What did I do? Can I attack Grov too, please? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess no blocks. All right, in response, I will then ninjutsu out my fallen shinobi. Ooh. No. You're making it worse? Oh, yeah, baby. Ninja tribal. What? So. Go to damage. I'll take five. Going to 23. All right, the Fallen Shinobi will trigger, so they exile the top two cards of your library. Me? Yeah, and I get to play them. For free? For free. Oh my gosh. Hut one, hut two. Whoa. Okay. okay. So I hit something. All right, so I'll go to my second main, and I'll cast that trading post. Thank you very much. And then your swamp will just stay exiled, I guess. Oh, and also, because Arkelos is untapped, your fallen shinobi enters untapped. Oh, cool. Free vigilance. Let's go. Wow, that got even better for him. The turtle smile upon you. <laughs> All right, well, that's my turn. Here you go, Arthur. Sweet. I'll untap, I'll draw. First order of business will be command tower. Okay. I'm gonna start off by tapping Ancient Tomb to float two mana, and I'll take two from Ancient Tomb. Going to 32. With one of the floating mana, Tundra and Tropical Island, I'll play Risen Reef. That's a good card. When the Risen Reef enters the battlefield, I will look at the top card of my library and I will put it into my hand. Not a Ooh. land. That's not a land. Not a land. Okay. Confirmed. Well, next up with the other floating mana, I will play a regular cohort. Oh, this is trouble. Oh my gosh. A regular cohort will make a 2 2 change lane when it enters the battlefield. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Woo! And because these two change lanes are all creature types, Risen Reef will see them both as fellow elementals. And so I'll look at the top card of my deck twice. This is insane! Is a land a swarm yard untapped because of Arkelos? Oh, that's good. And then put another card into my hand. All right, it's not a land. And because it sees my change lanes as fellow dragons as well, Dragon's Horde will also trigger, and I will put two counters to three. Neat. Thank you. I'll pass turn to you, Garoth. Okay. I will untap, draw a card, and I will take one damage from Mana Vault. Going to 22. 
Hmm. This is problematic, to say the least. Very much His so. Lord? Yes. Yes. I, I can deal with some of it. What can you deal with? Because I, I might be able to deal with one thing. Pick something and then I'll clean up after. So Katilda and Risen Reef are probably the ones that should yeah. probably... Yeah, those are the big ones right here. Yep. Okay, I'm going to play Phyrexian Tower for my land for turn. Nice. Good card. And then cast Herald of Anguish. Ooh. Oh! I have to use uh, some artifacts as improvisations to cast yeah, this. Yeah, sounds good. I've done it. Okay. Huzzah. Nothing happens on ETB, but I'm going to use Phyrexian Tower to sacrifice a creature. Sacrificing Moriak Replica. I'm going to sacrifice Mana Vault. Pay that cost. Nice. Ooh. And I'm going to use that targeting Risen Reef. Oh, Now you. Let's go, Garav. Yes. Risen Reef nice. dies. Pretty good. Because a creature died, I get to return an artifact from my graveyard back to my hand. Uh, I'm going to take the Mana Vault and put it into my hand. Oh my god, that's sick. I don't think I'm going to go to combat because I need defenders because everyone seems to be going after me for some reason. I'm sorry, Ralph. Uh, I will to my end step. At the beginning of my end step, each opponent discards a card because of Herald of Anguish's ability. Uh, this card's Sea of Clouds. I'll discard Yavamaya Coast. I'll discard a Trinket Mage. Uh, that's my turn. That was the end step. All right. I will go to my turn and untap all of my stuff. So because Pain's here untapped, its inspired ability will trigger, and I'll reveal the top card of my deck. What is it? Sakura Tribe Elder. Ooh, Steve. Pretty good. I'll put that card into my hand and take two. Going to 35. And then I'll draw for turn. First, I will play Amulet of Vigor. Redundancy. And then I have 10 permits on the battlefield, and so my Ark of Araska is blessed. <laughs> I will then move to combat. I will crew my Renegade Freighter. And Manson, I'm going to attack you for five. Uh, yeah, no blocks. I'll take five. Ugh. Going to 33. All right, so I will go to my second main phase. I will cast King Makar the Gold Cursed. Because Akralis is tapped, it will enter the battlefield tapped, and then Amulet of Vigor will see it and untap it. Uh, wombo combo. Whoa. So its inspired ability will trigger. So now I get to exile target creature. Whoa. That's sick. And I will exile Katilda. Eek. Katilda will be exiled. However, on the way out, I will tap Katilda for one white and Skeletal Changeling for one black. Katilda has been dealt with. And so when Katilda gets exiled, I will make a gold token. All right, so that's my turn. Helped everyone out, right? Yeah, that was pretty good. That was sick. All right, so Manson, I will leave it to you. Before you move to your end step, I will remove a gold counter from Dragon's Horde to draw a card. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What do you get? That's not good. So who likes the creatures? I do. Who, I do. Who's going to say no to this? <laughs> okay, I will use the two mana to play Crib Swap, which costs one less because it's a shapeshifter spell <laughs> because of her dragon. <laughs> That's funny. Huh. To exile Herald of Anguish. Oh. You get a 1-1 one, one shapeshifter. Oh, joy. Yay. Look at that, Grav. Uh, the shapeshifter will enter tapped because of Ashen's commander. All right, on your end step, I will activate training post, making a goot. <laughs> And then I'll enter tap because of Arkelos. And then I'll lose one life, going to 32. I'll untap, and then I'll draw my card for turn. All right, Manson, how about this? If you attack me with Fallen Shinobi, uh -huh. how about I get a free runway on my turn? So a free attack? Yeah. Okay, I kind of like this deal. Can I say no to this deal? I mean, you can. It doesn't yeah. matter, though. Okay, I say no. <laughs> Just so the word's out there. All right. All right, we'll go to combat. Arthur, I'm swinging Fallen Shinobi at you. All right, I'll take five. Sick. Going to 27. All right, and then that will trigger my Fallen Shinobi. So exile the top two of your library. One and okay. a two. Two, two lands. lands. I'm sorry for your loss. All right, since Fallen Shinobi says I could play the card, I'll play your Murmuring Boss from Exile. Nice. And then it will come in tapped because of your Commander Ashland. We'll put this one into Exile. All right, and then main phase two, I will tap three, and then I will cast a Thran Forge. Hey, there it See. is. It's here. It's out. And then I'll enter tap because of Arkelos. Well, since my stuff does come in tapped, how about this? I will play an Imposter Mech tapped, and I'll copy your King Makar. Oh, oh, snap! Man, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Spicy. And with that, I'll end my turn. I'll go to untap, upkeep, no effects, drop. First up, I'll tap three to cast Yuriko, the Tiger Shadow. Oh, snap! Oh, Thanks for the attacks, uh, Manson. Uh, <laughs> man, <it's laughs> man. Man. Yuriko enters tap because of Arkelos, the turtle. Let's have three change lanes come in at Manson. I'm gonna go to combat. Yep. The total damage is five. They're all coming at me, huh? Mm-hmm. All right, well, we made the deal. No blocks. Here we go. Going to 27. I will reveal three cards off the top and deal the damage based on what I reveal. First up, land, no damage. Yes. Woo. Okay. Number two, land, no damage. Let's go. All right. And number three, Guardian Gladewalker, two damage. Okay, okay not too bad. 
I'll take two, going to 25. I'll take two, going to 33. I'll take two, going to 20. All right, not too shabby. Whew. That could have been so much worse. Yes, that could have been. <laughs> I'll play Path of Ancestry tapped. One more play. I'll play Torian Mauler, which will also enter tapped because of Arkelos. I will tap Ancient Tomb, making one black because of Urborg, so I won't take two. Smart. Torian Mauler will also put a gold counter on Dragon's Horde because it's a dragon, so back up to three. I'll pass turn to you, Grov. Okay, I'll go to my turn. I will untap, draw for turn. I'm gonna use the Phyrexian Tower, sacrifice a creature for two black, sacrificing this shapeshifter, and then paying five more for seven mana. Oh boy. Cast uh -oh. Meteor Golem. Whoa! Targeting Yuriko. Boom! Yuriko bites the dust. Because a creature died, this will trigger Glissa the Traitor, so I will get an artifact out of my graveyard. I will get Moriok Replica back to my hand. Uh, Meteor Goal will enter the battlefield tap because of Turtle. Also, because you cast a spell, I will put the first counter on Torian Mahler. So it's a 3-3. It begins. Um, I'm gonna play a land for turn, which is a treasure vault. We'll enter the battlefield tapped again because of Turtle. I'm going to tap and sacrifice my Mishra's Bobble to look at the top card of target player's library. I'm gonna look at the top card of Manson's library. Knock yourself out. Is it good? It is not good. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will get to draw a card at your upkeep, Ashlyn. But uh, that's it for me. I will pass turn. End of your turn. All aboard the Renegade Freighter. I'm <laughs> going to tap King Makar and Payne Seer to crew it. Yup. Nice. All right. So I will now untap all the things because I have so many things that are tapped. Also in your upkeep, I will trigger Meester's Bobble drawing a card. Okay. So I have a lot of inspired triggers. Indeed. First, Payne Seer will trigger and I will reveal the top card of my deck. It's a land. Huzzah, that keeps happening. <laughs> Take no damage, I like this. And then King Makar will trigger. Not it. Not it. Yeah. Not it. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, you know what, King Makar is a gracious king and it will choose no targets. Whoa. Whoa. I will remember this. Good. And now I'll go to my draw and draw for turn. All right, so I'll play a Hinterland Harbor untapped because I control a forest. Mm -hmm. Before combat, I'm going to tap Arkelos and crew Renegade Freighter. Yeah. And Arthur, I will swing at you with my Renegade Freighter. And then Manson, I will swing at you with my Trinket Mage and Pangseer. Oof. Uh, yeah, I have no blocks. I'll take five from the Choo Choo Train. Going to 22. And I'll take four. Going to 21. All right, second main phase, I will cast Arbiter of the Ideal. Oh, what the heck? On cast, I will put a plus one counter on Torian Mahler. Great. It is now a 4-4. Four, four. And I sacrifice my gold token to do that. When an Arbor enters the battlefield, because my commander's tapped, it will enter tap, but then Amulet of Vigor will untap it, triggering its inspired trigger. That's it. Uh, and when it becomes untapped, I will reveal the top card of my library. Value. It's a silent submersible. Wait, Ooh. beep beep. Um, and if it's an artifact creature or land card, you may put it onto the battlefield. Nice. And it'll be an enchantment in addition to its other types. And then I will pass the turn. All right, I will untap, and then my King Makar will trigger, and I will exile your Arbiter, Ashlyn. Sorry, I'm gonna get out of hand over there. Okay, it'll be exiled. Huzzah. And then I will get a gold token. Cha-ching. The gold token will enter tapped because of your turtle. And then I will draw for turn. Let's start off with casting a commander from my hand again. Because you cast a spell, I'll put another plus one counter on Torian Mahler. It is now a 5-5. Five, five. And Rebecca will come in tapped. All right, now um, I will go to combat. And Ashlyn, this Fallen Shinobi is coming at you. I'll take five. Going to 28. Fallen Shinobi will trigger, so exile the top two. Ooh. 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 So Aether Sphere Harvester and Balagan Recovery. All right, uh, well, I'll go to my second main and I'll cast both those spells. And this Harvester will enter tapped. When it comes into play, I'll get two energy. And then Balagad Recovery will get me my Trick and Mage back. Because that was two spells cast, I will put two more plus one counters on Tori and Mahler. It is now a 7-7. Seven, seven. Ooh, that's gonna be a problem. And then I'll play my land for turn. And that's it for me. Here you go, Arthur. On your own step, Manson, I'll tap Dragon's Horde and remove a gold counter to draw a card. Now we'll go to my turn. Let's start off with untapping all of this here, and then I'll go to draw. And then I'm gonna play Living Death. Oh no! So we swap creatures in graveyards with creatures in play? Yep. Oh man. Uh, that's rough. Uh. Don't change lane the channel. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. Hail Samurai, I am a Sheen, two heavens as one. Through rigorous training, I have learned to take any attack trigger and double it. Ultimate, two for one strike! But mastering this was not easy. 
I could never have persevered without my Raycon wireless earbuds blasting my workout playlist. You see, with Raycons, two earbuds come together to make one heavenly sonic experience. Raycons provide top-tier audio quality at just half the price of other premium brands. Magnificent Money Saving Slash! Plus, their everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever. So no matter how hard I train, they remain steadfast within my ears thanks to their optimized gel tips. And with eight hours of playtime and a 32-hour battery life, their endurance is unrivaled, even by the staunchest of warriors. Ooh. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must resume my training. Workout playlist commence! All right, that's my jam right there. Ooh. Check out Raycon's wireless earbuds. My guess is that you're gonna wanna leave them a five-star review too. Go to buyraycon.com slash extra today to get 15% off your Raycon order. That's buyraycon.com slash extra to score 15% off. Again, buyraycon.com slash extra. Okay, it's time for the return of Cool Jimmy. <laughs> What's up, party people? Guess who's back? Wait, is that? Yeah, yeah, you know the deal. Cool, Josh? Oh yeah, this Into the Aim shirt's pretty cool. I just wear it because it's comfortable and I like the design. Wow, so effortlessly cool. <gasps> and it's as soft as it looks. Teach me the ways, Cool Josh. How can I be like you? It's easy. Into the AM has tons of awesome t-shirt designs, along with well-made basics like hoodies, joggers, and more. Everything is comfortable and eye-catching, so you're going to feel great whether you're playing Magic or just relaxing at home. They have super fast shipping and hassle-free returns. Plus, right now, they've got a bundle where you can get three graphic tees for just 60 bucks. But actually, Jimmy, I have an extra here if you want to try it. Oh, I'd be honored. Oh, wow. This is nice. Right? Cool, Jimmy? <laughs> That's more like it. To take advantage of Into the AM's bundle deal and get an additional 10% off the whole store, visit intotheam.com slash command or click the link in the description. That's 10% off the most comfortable shirts you'll ever wear at intotheam.com slash command. You've probably heard my colleagues here at Strixhaven say that I'm crazy. They call me a conspiracy theorist, but I see the secrets hidden among the lies. Like, did you know there are five colors of magic in Commander? It's true. White is real. See, I notice when things don't add up. So when I heard that Mint Mobile was offering premium wireless service at only $15 a month, I had to find out the truth. No way could they afford to provide unlimited text and high-speed data that cheaply. There had to be a catch. But then all the pieces began to fall into place. You see, Mint Mobile sells their wireless service only online, eliminating overhead from retail stores and passing those savings on to customers. It's genius! Now I've been using Mint Mobile for months, and I pay so much less than I used to. They even offered to let me keep my old phone number, but of course I chose not to. Changing numbers is good so the deep state can't track me. To get your new wireless plan for 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash extra. That's mintmobile.com slash extra. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash extra. Now I can focus on my other theory. I believe that our beloved Professor Onyx is none other than the planeswalker Nitha Ravane. See, I always uncover the truth. Alrighty, I'm gonna play Living Death. Oh no! So we swap creatures in graveyards with creatures in play? Yep. Oh man. Uh, that's rough. And I will take two from Ancient Tomb. Going to 20. Good. All right, so I have a response. I am going to activate my trading post. I will discard my Sun Titan. Oh! Sun Titan. Uh oh! To gain four life. Going to 25. All right, so all of the creatures are going to go away. All the creatures that were already in our graveyard are gonna come back to play. I'm bringing back to play Yuriko at Lapalani, Drog Skull Captain, Avian Changeling, Cloud Shredder Sliver, and Risen Reef. Oh my god. Oh god. Uh, and then I'll bring back a Trophy Mage and the Sun Titan I just discarded. Mm. And then Rebecca will go to the command zone. I got nothing. And Arkelos will go back in the command zone. I didn't have anything in my graveyard, so I don't get anything back. So I'm just gonna put Glissa back into the command zone. And I think we have some triggers to resolve. Just a couple. Mm -hmm. mm. So when Trophy Mage enters the battlefield, I'll search my library for an artifact card with mana value of three, and I'll be getting a Sword of Feast and Famine. That's a good one. And there's nothing in my graveyard that I can bring back. Uh, because Glissa was around when all those creatures got sacrificed, she will trigger multiple times, and I will get some artifacts from my graveyard. All right. I will get Meteor Golem and Mishra's Bobble back to my hand. So I got a few ETBs. Risen Reef will trigger twice, and Dragon Sword will trigger once. So much value. Wow. Pretty good. Now Risen Reef. I will put that one into my hands. Second Risen Reef trigger. 
I will put that one into my hand. Mm, the lens, huh? And Drog Seal Captain will give my spirits plus one plus one and hexproof. That's so disgusting. A few more things while the going is good. Griffin Canyon. I can tap it to untap a Griffin and give it plus one plus one until end of turn. So you can untap your changeling? You know it. Uh. I will pay two for Dragon Tempest. Oh. oh no. And then I'll tap Path of Ancestry to play Guardian Gladewalker. I see that's a dragon. Mm -hmm. mm. Sure is. It's also an elemental <laughs> and a spirit. Okay, okay. All right. So I will put a gold counter on Dragon Sword to four. Because I tap Path of Ancestry, I'll scry one. I'll leave that on top. And because Guardian Gladewalker is a dragon, I will ping Ashlyn for two damage. All right. Go to 26. And it will also have haste and flying because of Cloud Treader Sliver. And Risen Reef Trigger because my Changeling is an elemental as well. Okay. And put that card into my hand. Concerning. Mm -hmm. And finally, the Guardian Gladewalker will put a plus one counter on target creature. I'm going to put it on Atla Palani Nest Tender. Is now a 3 4. All right, going to combat with my ninjas this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will swing Avian Changeling at Ashlyn, Guardian Gladewalker at Manson, and Cloud Shredder Sliver at Garoff. So that will be 3 to Ashlyn, 2 to Manson, and 1 to Garoff. No blocks here. Uh, I can't block. I also have no blocks. So I'll take one, going to 19. I'll take three, going to 23. And I'll take two. Going to 23 as well. That'll trigger Yuriko two times. Oh my gosh, this oh. is bad. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's see what we get. Here we go. Woo, roll. Ah. All right. Good card. All right, three damage. I'll take three and go to 16. I'll take three going to 20. I will go to 20 as well. And next up, what's it gonna be? Oh, that's uh. three more. All right. That'll get recovered. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll take three more. Go to 13. I'll take three. Going to 17. I'll take three. And a 17. And I will put Battle Gator Recovery into my hand. Last order of business, I'll pay two and foretell this mysterious card over here. What could it be? Ooh. I'll go to my end step, and because I have nine cards in hand, I'll discard two. All right, Karav, I think that's it for me. I'll pass to you. Thanks. I will untap and draw a card for turn. And then I will tap three to play Foundry Inspector, which makes artifact spells I cast one less to cast. Nice. Okay. Uh, then I will cast a free mana vault from that. Okay, that's pretty Ooh. good. Nice. So I'll tap three and one for a batter skull. Ooh. Okay. And then it will come into play equipped to a germ token, which this sleeve will represent. Cool. So that germ is now a 4-4 with vigilance and lifelink. Uh, and then I will also cast a Mishra's Bobble for free. Must be nice. I am going to go ahead and actually sacrifice the Mishra's Bobble now. To look at the top card of a player's library, I will choose you, Arthur. Alrighty. Oh, you're really, but, you're really <laughs> staring at it. Oh here. boy. <laughs> this card is bad. Oh no. Uh, okay, and that's my turn. All right. I will untap my very incredibly sad board state. On your upkeep, I will draw a card from Misha's bottle. And then I will draw for turn. First things first. I'm gonna play a Misty Rainforest, but I'm gonna sack it right away. Going to 16. And I'll search for a forest or an island, and I'll get a watery grave. It'll come into play tapped, but then Amulet of Vigor will untap it. So you don't like to pay the two. Yeah. And then I will play Casualties of War. Ooh. That's a good card. <laughs> I feel like usually this gets dispersed around the table, but I'm not so sure yeah. if that's going to happen. Yeah. Not so much this time. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to target Swarm Yard, Dragon's Horde, Dragon's Tempest, and Yuriko. All right. Ooh, all that wow. Arthur stuff. Oh, my. All four of those things bite the dust. Oh my god. Just a casual four for one. Nice. Oh. All right. Fun will last it, I will say that. Uh, Yeah, that's all I can do. I did everything to help this team, and I will pass turn. All right, at, at your end step, um, since I want to get King Makar tapped, it's going to be a little unorthodox. I'm a crew King Makar with my Sun Titan. So now it's a creature. And then I will crew my Aether Sphere Harvester <laughs> using the King Makar so I can get it to tap. We got there. Tap dance. <laughs> tap dance. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right, I will untap, and then my King Makar will trigger, and I will target your Atla Polani. All right, Atla has been exiled from this plane. Sorry, Arthur. And I'll get a gold token, and then I will draw for turn. First things first, I'll draw for turn. Then I'll tap three, and I'll play a Trinket Mage. I'll go searching for an artifact with mana value of one or less, and then I'll search for an Aether Spellball and put it into my hand. Right on. And then I'll tap five, and then I'll play a Sword of Feast and Famine. Ooh. And then I'll equip my Sword of Feast and Famine to my Trophy Mage. 
Oh, oh. Nice. So now it's a 4-4 four, four with pro, black, and green. All right, so I will move to combat. Okay. So I want to get this sword trigger off. What if I get rid of Drog Skull Captain, and then he can't block? I like this. And then oh, no. we friends. Nothing bad coming out of that? Okay, nothing bad will come out of it. <laughs> coming at you next this, turn. Then I will K3 to cast Putrefy, targeting Drog Skull Captain. What a sticky situation I found myself in here. Nice. All right. We'll go to combat. Arthur, Sun Titan and Trophy right. Mage are coming at you. And when Sun Titan attacks, there's a trigger, but I don't have anything in my grave to bring back. Well, six is a lot, so I will block with Risen Reef here on the six, six, and I'll take the four from the mage. Okay, so Sword of Feast and Famine will trigger now. And I will discard a card. Risen Reef dies. I will discard Unclaimed Territory. Oh, good. And I'll take four, going to 16. And I'll untap all my lands. All that mana. Oh, swords are pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. Swords are pretty yeah. good. Pretty good. All right, now I will tap six. Ooh. Then I'll play Rebecca again. Nice. And then I will tap one, play an Aether Spell Bomb. All right, that's my turn. Pretty go. good. All right, untap, untap, untap. And then I'll go to draw. <laughs> so that's what you saw. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. All right, play City of Brass. And then I'm going to play Storm of Souls for six mana. <laughs> They're one ones. <laughs> That's it. I'll take two from Ancient Tomb going to 14. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Look at that board. He's at it again. Look at all my pretty cards, guys. That was really oh, bad. Oh, pretty. Yay. Uh, Drock Skull's going to give all of them hexproof. Yeah. No. Wow. <laughs> Here comes some ETBs. Because Realmwalker says as it enters the battlefield, I choose a creature type, I will choose Jellyfish. So I may cast Jellyfish off the top of my library. Yeah. Jellyfish, huh? Let's go. Okay. Then Irregular Cohort makes a 2-2 Changeling token. Once again, that will be colorless. Because six elementals enter the battlefield, Risen Reef will trigger six times. Here we go. Okay, I'll put that into my hand. And two. And I'll put that one into my hand as well. Not drawing lands. And three. There we go. Land. And four. And next one to hand. And five. And one more card here into my hand. And six. Oh, oh my gosh, she's just drawing wow. one land out of all of oh, that. Oh wow. And I'll put Storm of Souls into exile here. It's a lot of value. Oh my wow. gosh, so much. Let's take a little peek with Realmwalker here. Oh, that <laughs> changes a lot. Is it a jellyfish? Like, it it or a changeling? Not a jellyfish. I need to get that card into my hand somehow. Oh, no. oh my. All right, I will pay one with City of Brass, take one to play Imposter of the Six Pride, which is a elemental. Okay, you're about to draw it then. Let's draw this card. Flip this one into my hand. Step two, and play Magda Brazen Outlaw. Oh. So whenever a dork becomes tapped, I can make a treasure. So if I go to combat and attack with my changelings, I make treasures when they attack. <laughs> what a board. I'm gonna go to combat now. I think it's about time. All right, I have a response. At the beginning of your combat, I'm gonna pay blue and I'm gonna sacrifice my Aether Spell Bomb. Mm -hmm. And I'll bounce your Cloud Shredder Sliver so that your creatures don't have haste this turn. <laughs> okay. This is good, this is good. This is life. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Here we go. We're in combat. Ashlyn, I'm going to attack you with Avian Changeling and Guardian Gladewalker. When they become tapped, I will make two treasure tokens because of Magda Brazen Outlaw. All right, I can't block anything, so I'm going to have to take seven. Oof. Mm. Going to nine. Pain doesn't end there. On damage, two Yuriko triggers. Oh no. Ashlyn, you might be dead here. Yep. One. Agonema Cultist for three. All right. I'll take three and go to 10. I'll take three and go to six. Take three, go to 14. I'll put that into my hand. Last year, co trigger here. Whiff, 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 whiff. Graveborn Muse for oh. four. <laughs> and I'll put that in my hand. I'll take four and go to six. I'll take four and go to two. Ooh, take four, go to 10. Let's look at the top card here with Realmwalker. Sure. I'll go to my end step, and because I'm at 12 cards, I'll discard five, going down to seven. Oh, whoop de doo All right. All right, and with all that, I'll pass turn to you, Garof. Oh, my. Boo! Okay. What a board. Um, I will untap all my lands. I will draw for turn, and then take one damage from Mana Vault. Going to five. Uh, I will start by playing a Woodland Cemetery. Okay. Then uh, I will pay one and play a Vorpal Sword. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so you cast a spell and that will trigger Torian Mauler and it will get a 1-1 one, one count, making it a 4-3. Um, I will pay two to equip it to the Batter Skull. Nice. Well, actually, I guess it's the germ token, technically. 
which makes it a 6-4 with death touch. And then I will attack... Ooh. Manson, Ashen, right? Oh. Ashen, you're kind of open. I am. I'm very open. You did not help us throughout the game. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm playing Glissa the Traitor. So, take six. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, I can't block. I have no responses, so I will take six and, and go to zero. And now it's been great. Oh. <coughs> Bye, Ash. Well, since you're dead, Ash, this Aether Sphere Harvester also goes poof. Gimme. Because uh, my batter skull had lifelink, I will gain six life. Going to 11. Because you murdered your friend. I'll keep this Phyrexian train going and play a Worm Coil Engine. Yay! Oh. And again, that triggers Tori Muller. And I'll put another plus one counter, making it a 5 4. And then I'll pass my turn to you. All right, sounds good. I'll untap, draw for turn. I'm going to activate my Thran Forge. And then I'll target my Sun Titan. So it gets plus one plus O and is an artifact creature. Huh. Oh. And then I'll do it again, targeting my Rebecca. And do it once more, targeting my Trinket Mage. She's sweet. And so now my creatures have protection from zero mana, two mana, three mana, and four mana, and six mana cards, because they're all artifacts. But all I have is one, two, three, and four. That's right. <laughs> That's indeed correct. Oh no. Get got. <laughs> you know what's happening. Go into combat. I will swing all my artifact creatures at you, Arthur. But that'll kill me. That's right. Oh, it will. Right. <laughs> so my sun tank will trigger, and I'll bring back my aether spell bomb. All right. Down to zero we go. Ooh. Woo. Wow. <gasps> Whoa. What? Where'd they come from? They're unblockable. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well, since you died, this marine boss goes back to you. Alright, with that, I am a turn. Here you go, Garov. Uh, I will untap. Uh, I will draw a card for turn and take one damage from interval. Going down to 10. Okay, okay, this changes things. Oh? Yeah. I'm going to pay one to play Wishclaw Talisman. Ooh. Ooh. It enters the battlefield with three wish counters. I'm going to activate Wishclaw Talisman and remove a counter. That's not good. I'll search my library for any card, and I'll find this one and put it into my hand. And now the Wishclaw Talisman goes to you, Manson. Ooh, baby. Enjoy your wishes. Cool. Get a tutor next turn. Um, and then I'm going to cast Oblivion Stone. Oh! For two. No! Oh, no stone. Uh, I want to activate it this turn, so I'm going to sacrifice my Germ Token to the Phyrexian Tower for two mana, and then pay three more to sacrifice the Oblivion Stone and destroy each non-land permanent without a fate counter on it. Wow. All right, well, I guess I have some responses to that. I'll sacrifice a gold and activate my spell bomb to bounce your worm coil engine. Gasp. Yeah. And then I will sacrifice the last gold token to activate my trading post, and I'll sacrifice my imposter mech to draw a card. And yeah, I guess the old stone blows everything up. Destroy all non-land permanents. Yep. And then Rebecca will go back to the command zone. I spent all my mana, so that's the end of my turn. All right, clear board. I'll untap, draw my card for turn, and I will cast Rakshasa Debaser. Ooh, she bring in the base. Woo-wee. Bring a card to play right now. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Then I'll play my land for turn. I'll pass the turn. Okay, I will untap, I will draw. I'll play a land for turn as well. And then I'm going to cast Meteor Gold. Mm. Oh, that's right. Mm. I no. forgot about that thing. <laughs> I will have Meteor Gold target your Rakshasa Debaser. Yep, sounds about right. Uh, and that's it for me. Pass turn to you. All right, I want to tap. On my card for turn. I will tap eight and I'll encore out my Rakshasa Debaser. Because I have one opponent, I only get one token. Okay. All right, I'll go to combat, swing at you. So my debaser will trigger, and I'll get a creature from the grave. And I'll bring out a Foundry Inspector. Hey! Oh, scary. <laughs> it was the only creature in the grave. All right, I will block your debaser with my Meteor Golem. Yep, sounds good. Um, and then I will end my turn. So my token will get sacrificed. There you go, Groff. Okay, I'm going to untap. Draw. Uh, I'm going to cast Worm Coil Engine. Yep. And then I'm going to cast Moriok Replica. Okay. Nice. And that's my turn. All right. I will untap. Draw my card for turn. Land. This will start with this. I will tap two. 
cast a Baleful Strix. When it enters the battlefield, I will draw a card. And then I will cast an Anguished Unmaking. Oh. Targeting your Worm Coil Engine. Yeah, that'll do it. All right, it gets exiled. And sadly, because it gets exiled, I don't get any tokens out of it. I will lose three. Going to seven. I'll go to combat. Okay. I'll swing at you for three. I will choose to trade. All right, sounds good. And then, on my second main, I'll play a Thada Adele. All right, with that, you're go. Okay, I'm gonna untap all my lands and draw a card for my turn. I am going to cast Mere Battle Sphere. Ooh. 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 Uh, when I was battlefield, I get four 1-1 one, one colorless Mere tokens. Oh boy. <laughs> Bird and fish versus robots. Uh, <laughs> that's it for me, past turn. All right, I'll go to my untap. Draw my card for turn. I'm gonna land. All right, I'll go to combat. Okay. I'll swing at you with the Baleful Strix. Okay, it's in the air, I have no blocks. All right, in response, I'll ninjutsu out a Silent Blade Oni. Woohoo! Uh, well, I mean, yeah, I said no blocks, so I'll take six. Going down to four. So my ninja now will trigger. Get to look at your hand. There you go. All right, so I'm not casting these, but I will cast a Deadly Dispute. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right, so I will sack my Dark Steel Citadel and draw two cards and make a treasure token. This will go to your grave. I'm about to go to my own grave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go to my second main, and then I will recast the Billful Strix. Mm -hmm. And then when it enters the battlefield, I will draw a card. All right, your turn, Garov. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow, that really turned around. Okay, um, untap. Draw. I will play a Forest for turn. And then I'm going to tap five to bring out my commander, Glissa the Traitor. Uh, I'm going to go to combat. All right. In response, I will cast a Mortify. Oof. Targeting your mirror battle Ooh. sphere. Using a treasure to do so. Yeah, no response to that. I will destroy the mirror battle sphere. Oof. And then I'll play a Revel in Riches. Ooh. Okay. Uh, that's it for me. Pass turn. All right. I will untap. All my stuff. And then draw for turn. All right, I'll go to combat. Mm -hmm. Swing one in the air. I have no blocks in the air. I will take one damage, going down to three life. And then main phase two, I'm gonna tap eight. Ugh. I'm gonna cast my commander once again, Rebecca. Pass turn. Okay, I will untap my lands. We'll draw for turn. Well, I will tap three and play Kodama's Reach. Okay. Little late game ramp. I will go and get two swamps. One will enter the battlefield tap, and the other will go to my hand. Okay. And I will play the other one onto the battlefield. Nice. And then I'll go to combat. Okay. I'll swing at you with Glissa for three. Before blocks, I will tap the planes and I'll cast a source to plowshares. Oh. <laughs> targeting your Glissa. Okay, well, no response to that, sadly. All right. So this will go back to the command zone. Hey, but at least you gained three life. And I gained three life! Yeah. yeah! Going mm -hmm. to six. I've doubled my life total. I'm going to pay seven to recast Glissa the Traitor. Yes, my I gosh. <laughs> Let's yep. go. I'll pass the turn. All right. I will untap. Draw. I will tap three. And then I will cast a Mirage Mirror. Nice. All right. I'll go to combat. Grab, I'll swing at you with the Baleful Strix in the air. All right. Once again, no blocks in the air. All right. No effects. All right. I will take one and go to five. Uh, and then I'll pass the turn. Okay. I will untap. Let's draw. Uh, okay, I'm going to cast Noxious Gear Hulk Ooh. for six. Uh, this is going to target your Oni. Sweet draw. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that happens. Okay. Dies. I gain five life, going back to ten. And then Glissa will trigger because you had a creature die, so I will get a card out of my graveyard. Oh boy. Uh, I will get Meteor Golem back to my hand. Yep. Revel and Riches will trigger, and I will create one treasure. And then I'm going to sacrifice that treasure and pay six to cast Meteor Golem, targeting your commander. Yep, it's back. Again, <laughs> Rebecca will die. Go back to the command zone. That is going to trigger Glissa and Revel and Riches one more time. So I will pull something out of my graveyard back into my hand. Man. I will grab Mere Battle Sphere back to my hand. And I will make one treasure. Okay. And I will go to combat. Yep. And attack you for three. All right. Um, no blocks. I'll take three. Going to four. Um, that's it for me. I pass turn. Um, at your end step, I will activate Berry Runes and sacrifice it. And I'll get back a Sword of Feast and Famine. All right. I will untap. Draw my card for turn. I will tap three, and then I will cast the Sword of Feast and Famine. I will tap two, and I will equip my Sword of Feast and Famine to Baleful Strix. Mm -hmm. 
And then I will cast an Ethereum Sculptor. Cool. Um, so I'll go to combat. I'll swing at you for three in the air. Still have no blocks in the air, so I will take three. Go down to seven. Sword of Fusion Fan will trigger. We'll discard a card. Discard a Milliken. I will untap my land. And then I'll tap six and play Tezzeret. Ooh. Master of the Bridge. <laughs> so I will plus two Tezzeret. Making it seven loyalty. Okay. And I'll deal four damage to Ugarov and I'll gain four life. Oof. Okay. I'll take four. Going down to three. Go up to eight. All right. That's my turn. Over to Ugarov. Okay. My turn. I will untap all my stuff and draw a card for turn. I'll play Cabal Coffers. Man, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go to combat. Okay. I'm going to swing all at you. All at me, not Tezzeret? Oh, yeah. All at you. Okay. All right. Uh, in response, I will activate my Mirage Mirror, making it a Baleful Strix. And then I will double block your Gear Hulk with Thought Adele and one of my Baleful Strix. Okay. And then I'll block Glissa with Ethereum Sculptor. So you will take, by my count, seven damage. I will take seven damage. Okay. So all my creatures die. And my Gear Hulk dies. And then I will take seven. Going to one. Okay. Oh my gosh. Not dead. This is going to trigger Glissa three times and Rebel and Riches three times as well. So I will get three artifacts back from my graveyard to my hand. The three cards I'm going to get in my graveyard are Noxious Gearhulk, Wishclaw Talisman, and Batter Skull. Yep, it's pretty good. And I make three more treasures as well. So with the coffers and these treasures, I have quite a lot. A bajillion mana. So I will tap Cabal Coffers along with two other lands. Because I have Urborg, every land I have is a swamp. Right. So I will generate one, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen black mana. Okay. Uh, I will use two of that to cast Wishclaw Talisman. Here you'll enter the battlefield with three wish counters. Yep. I will immediately pay one mana that I have floating to use the Wishclaw Talisman to search my library for a card. And then the Wishclaw Talisman will go to you, Manson. Thank you. I have ten mana floating, so I will use six of it to cast Bolas's Citadel. Oh, oh no! Yep, that resolves. Let's look at the top card of my library. Oh boy. Can't play that or I'll die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use Bolas' Citadel's ability to sacrifice 10 non-land permanents and deal 10 damage to you, Manson. I take 10 damage. <laughs> oh. I win! Victory. Oh. Oh. Get excited for me! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. What a game. Epic. What a game. Yeah. Fun, super fun game. Thanks, everybody, for sticking around. Remember, if you want to get your hands on any of that stuff, channelfireball.com slash command. They have their marketplace. They have great prices on all the singles and the sealed products. You're dealing with licensed professional businesses, mm -hmm. which means that you're going to have high quality of service. They're going to get you the stuff in really good condition and quickly. It really is the best place to go to get your magic cards. You're magic players. You're going to buy magic cards. You may as well just use our affiliate link when you do it to support the content that you enjoy. Again, that's channelfireball dot com slash command support the content and the stores because those are both vital parts of the magic the island experience and you know while you're at the store or while you're online shopping check out ultra pro our other sponsor for the show they have again all of the art of new capenna there's some incredible art on this set and not just that Baldur's gate is coming up oh, there's yeah. so much crossover with with D, &D players i would totally get if i played more DD a Baldur's gate play mat to bring to my D, &D session yeah that's really it makes actually, perfect sense or a bunch of them for the different characters and yeah. things like that oh, yeah, yeah it could Drift be really useful play mat, yeah and like we mentioned before there is a a brand new store that Ultra Pro has, so they're direct to consumer now. They never did this before. Nice. Um, yeah. So if you go to shop.ultrapro.com/command, use that affiliate link. That is a way to tell them that we're the ones that sent you, but also to buy directly from Ultra Pro. Maybe you can't find it at the LGS because their products often sell out. Yep. And going to shop.ultrapro.com/command is a good way to maybe find that stuff that you couldn't find elsewhere. Yeah. And if you want to be like very specific, I want this color play mat or mm -hmm. this color binder that holds this many cards. There's a good chance you'll find something that is super comparable or works perfectly for your collection, shop.ultrabro.com slash command. You'll be amazed at the amount of stuff you can find on there. And the last way to support the show is directly at patreon.com slash command zone. And there's never been a better time to become a patron of our content because we've just revamped our entire system and we're offering way more stuff than we ever have before. Yeah, the big one to me is Discord. Even at the lowest tier, you can get onto our Discord. That's where our most sort of awesome community is, right? The most engaged community they're there. Yeah, there's a ton more perks and uh, there's a new merch store uh, available through there. 
there. You can get discounts. There's all kinds of uh, bonus content, exclusive content. And also, we've just started this program. And in fact, I think the time you're um, listening to this, the first one's already happened. Oh, yeah. Where there's certain dates every single month where Jimmy, myself, other members of our crew are going to be on Spell Table playing Commander games with our community via Discord. So if you want to get in on that action, patreon.com slash command zone also just supports all of our content. Yeah, we've been doing this for eight years. Our patrons are some of our most amazing fans, and we know tons of them by name now, and we shout them out in each episode. So make sure you do all that, patreon.com slash command zone. It is pretty good value, so we hope you go over there pretty and support good. us. We appreciate everybody that does that. Yep. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Peace. Bye-bye. <laughs>